today just a little review of uh, some cheap Chinese crap I bought and I'm actually pretty impressed what they are is uh, GU10 although you can now get this sort of thing in uh, I believe what they call A27 or your typical light socket bulb um, and you can even get it in 12 volts as well with a 120 style socket which is neat because then you can wire up DC cable on standard fixtures but I picked up this little fixture at the thrift store which was kind of neat for five bucks the lamps are worth four to five dollars a piece um, on eBay uh, which is substantially cheaper than I can buy them at Walmart for example here in Canada um, they contain a these ones contain four one watt LEDs inside they are these ones are AC 120 and I'm running it off of a battery and a little Canadian tire inverter the power supply on these is a switching mode has a tiny transformer in it and it produces 6 volts so they're actually a 6 volt light you can gut them and just pull out the circuit and run two in series and it's a 12 volt light um, or if you wanted to run numerous you could use a switching mode step up boost converter off of 12 volts or just run on an inverter like I am which keeps it simple you're not tearing apart the bulbs or whatever but like I say you can now buy these now these are these do not have a diffuser over them uh, I did a different video of a bulb I had bought at Walmart which was 7 watts has a nice diffuser uh, made for in ceiling where these are more of a spot but would be really good for like a um, spotlight outdoors where the fixture itself is hung underneath a soffit where it's out of the weather but um, you know for spotting a corner maybe even on a on a sensor motion sensor or whatever but one of the interesting things is, is the 7 watt that I bought from Walmart Globe product when run on this same battery box that I charge up in the sun drew about 600 to 700 milliamps now I'm running four of these supposed four watts and I just did I just pulled the fuse out of this you know I just took the fuse out of that circuit right there and dropped an ammeter in instead and it reads 540 milliamps which impressed me because it's supposed to be 12 watts and the light from three of these is definitely as good as the light from one of the 7 watts now I've got a lot of other light on in this room so I'm going to switch everything off and it is nighttime so you can get an idea of you know the type of illumination of the room you can see I've got it spotting the ceiling right so but um and I got this, I don't have this in night mode here. Should switch it to night mode because that's how they do all my other videos. So you can see it's um you know, there's I, I wouldn't have any problem finding a penny anywhere on the floor. Uh this is a large room too. It's about uh ten by maybe twelve by twenty. It's large. Um plus I have them, you know pointing up or whatever if they were actually on the ceiling pointing down in a corner where you were working or something uh, for 500 milliamps you would definitely have a good work light um, but you don't want to look straight at them that's that's the thing about these guys but I have noticed for around eight dollars instead of the twenty one dollars that I bought I uh, paid at Canadian Tire you can get a six watt ceiling globe what the search you want to do on eBay is 6 watt 6 w space ceiling globe led and you'll find that for around eight dollars you can you can get them now i haven't bought any of those but i will and when i when i do i'll uh, do a review on those but i do know that this particular brand that i bought is switching mode not capacitive so it may not work all that well on like a jewel ring or circuit or whatever but you're when you're just running it strictly off of an inverter um it, it works great like this this coupled with 
this here coupled with a um, with a uh, 20 watt solar panel you know on your typical day you're going to get more charge into your battery than you'll burn with the amount of hours that you're going to stay awake in the evening so you can get to smell light for for free you know which sure kicks ass on a garden light that's for sure and i i get all my batteries for free and rejuvenate them so i'm not worried about the cost of batteries but there you have it it's uh pretty pretty solid light for 500 milliamps and uh, just give you a little bit more of a look at it. They run real cool. It's a very nice warm white. And uh, that's it. Three in parallel, 120 off of an inverter. And like I say, I was a bit surprised to see that it's only 540 milliamp draw. I would have expected an amp. But uh, there you have it. Maybe they're not really 4 watts. I don't know. Good light though. For the money, you know, $15 worth of lamps. Definitely a good buy. Thanks for watching.